We've completed the path to the mountain. And now we're leaving the mountain. Oh, she's gonna get rid of the thorns. We'll use this. Graythaw. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Can't break those pots right now. Just give that a turn. There. See? I can't believe we're just calling her the Witch of the Woods. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Oh, we're going. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got caught up in the in the conversation. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before, and there's no way back across. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Riosa. What? It's solid. Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. <laughs> Forget I'm the friggin' Thor man. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, <gasps> Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. He's awake now. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. What? Oh. Where's she going? Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Uh, oh, this one? Read align the bridge. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge 
bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. Damn. He is really strong. <laughs> Holy shit. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could then your magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. Follow the witch. Oh, I didn't know if there was anything over there. <laughs> Sorry. He shoves his own son. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build Tear Stump? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Wow. We're getting bridge lore. Leosa. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. You talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Realm travel room. Shit is dark as hell in here. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the great world tree and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree separated only by the Bifrost light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. 
The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. Ah. Is See this... that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower I'm missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. It's nowhere to be found. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot the light? I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead, is she? Not likely. Come. Um. All right. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? <laughs> Hold on. I'm looking around myself. Ew. It looks awfully fleshy. It's like something from Diablo. I think you killed it. Look up there. Oh. Whoa. What's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Who is this guy dead?
boy. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. Oh. Oh my god, I walk right past this. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. Attacking us for. We didn't do anything. More will come. Oh. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? I do remember these vines. You have to hit when there's two of them like that, you have to get them both in the same throw. Otherwise they grow back. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. At least we're getting closer to the light. Oh. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. Nice. Two of four. Injury? When the compass turns gold, an objective is somewhere in the area. That is Sindri, I bet. Sindri, you rapscallion! What are you doing here? Where shall we begin? Oh, okay. There's no comment about how he made it here. It's just we're we're beginning. Oh, right. We have an upgrade. Um, 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 um. Give me my upgrade, please. Hey, you uh, probably shouldn't let my brother lay his hands on again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. I'll tell him. And what do you have your eye on? Oh, I need a lot more money for that. I want something for luck. I really like luck. If anything boosts luck, I'm gonna get it. Oh, that's what I already have. Wow, that's pretty good. That's huge. Master Atreus, how may I serve? <laughs> Why are you being weird? Um, I guess I should get make him some gear. Honestly, I want to give him this one because I feel like this looks super cool. It matches his little his little red arrows. Craft it. Like you were born in that armor. There he goes. 
No, he's looking good. What is this? Oh, the enchantments. Um, I think that's about it. Right? Don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs> if I uh, am struggling at any point, I'll probably go back and buy stuff for Kratos. But I really, I hate buying stuff for him when we get it. Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. There we go. We're lining it up. Right. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Trace is talking to dead people again. Um. There's so much exploration I would like to do. Huh? Again, I said nothing. Where? This one you said so. What is it, boy? Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt evil. Well, that's not good. That is not good at all. Look, should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. They do need help if they're losing the war. Foggy here. There's the light. Look at that. That must be the Ring Temple. I don't know what this is, but look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim too. Should I read it? What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Oh, we must find it. Wait, I wonder, is this the main? No. Main's way over there. Let me check out the map. We're going over there. The light is very red over there, huh? Okay. I think you're right. The runes aren't here. Maybe we should head to the temple? Why, you want to head to the temple? You don't want to explore, Atreus? Let's just look over here real quick. I want to explore so bad. Oh! You've got to sad the elves can't work things out. I find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. What? There's no freaking. I love when they lay on the ground dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
shit. Nice. Good work, Atreus. Good work. I don't know where we are or what we're doing. I'm ready. Is it behind me? Oh shit. Health stones. I've got to line this up good. Man, there's a lot of them here. Can I hop down here now? Okay. So we've got to come in from the other side. Can I boost Atreus up here? No? Damn you, game! <laughs> oh, maybe it's in here? Damn it. This, this is, is a... locked up good. Indeed. I almost feel like I shouldn't really explore until I unlock more things. There really is no way to hit all of these. I feel like I have to be from that side. All right, let's check out this side, and then we will continue on. Thirty-two XP for most things. Oh, you know what I want to do really quick? I would like to... Oh, the Tunic of Hope. That's pretty cute. Okay. I want to... What? There's a lot of things I want. But my main thing I was going to get... Oh, I need to get this. Executioner's whatever. Let's get this. I actually have a whole lot of XP. Okay, I'm gonna get that. What's up here? Ranged combat. Interesting. I like that. I like that too. And I think I'm gonna get this. Nice. Huge upgrades, huge upgrades. All right, let's head back to the boat. It's sad the elves can't work things out. Elf, I'm such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You... know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Sindri said... Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, 
and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. <laughs> the blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. He covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Oh, shit, what the hell? Excuse me? you oh. okay we took care of that let's see what this thing is from down there? Oh my god! Who just took care of you fools? What's going on with me? Oh, he fell off and died. Even though he's got wings. <laughs> I think, unless this is him that got like respawned or something. He ain't shit. What is their problem with him? We do not belong here. Okay. So is that is that it? From We can't go down here, right? No. Oh, oh my god, I didn't even see this. together like that they kind of look like a room it doesn't make sense come back to the sand bowl oh so we are going back to the sand bowl that was part of the main Anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We threw them overboard. Oh. Well... Good thing I didn't drink any seawater. Right? Yes, it is. I like the little boat conversations. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish room. That is it for part six of God of War. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.